Hello everybody and welcome back to Narsh. Also, let's play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we came here and we re-recruited re Mog. We also went off and re-recruited Gao as well. Now we're here again to recruit another party member, but this time it's not a re-recruit. And this will actually be one of the two secret characters that you can recruit in this game. Now, they're not that secret. They are completely optional and don't add anything to the story whatsoever. Except for maybe some extra endings in the ending of the game. Alright, we're finally going to fight some new enemies. Two different types of new mag rotors, which have the exact same sprite as the red and purple mag rotors we fought earlier in the game. But these ones are brown and yellow. Yes, the two most beautiful colors in the fucking universe. Shit and piss. <laughs> it just occurred to me that that, was, that worked out perfectly as a joke. And yeah, you just got quadrupled, reflected, owned. Even though they're not weak to fire, that was awesome. The triple reflect. I mean, quadruple reflect. Yeah. Instead of, instead of uh, putting Mog with the Moogle Charm, I wanted to make sure I showed every type of enemy in this place. So actually, now that we fought every type of enemy, I think that was the last one. I fought every type of enemy here now. I believe so, except for the bosses, of course. So in that case, what I'm going to do... Wait, is that the last new enemy? It's the last new enemy for this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mog's Relics. And instead of having the sprint shoes on, which, yes, it's nice to move around fast. But it doesn't matter if you don't have to fight battles. So, let's be able to walk around without having to fight battles. So, that's awesome, right? Now we can just walk and play the game. Like, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I'll take the Moogle Charm off when I get to the... Okay, wait. Hold the phone. Does the Moogle Charm only work... Oh, it might help if I put the Moogle Charm on. I put the Charm Bangle on. There it is. I was wondering why the hell I ran to battle. That was that was that was funny though. I was like, what the fuck? Did I did I like not did I not know what the hell I was doing? Apparently I wasn't doing the right thing though. I put the freaking Charm Bangle on. Yeah, Charm Bangle is only lowers the encounter rate, which pretty much means it doesn't look like it lowers the encounter rate at all. But the Moogle Charm is a beautiful thing. It makes you not have to fight random battles at all. Now I can actually say it with certainty, because I put on the right damn thing. any rate, we're going up here to the ice fields, or sort of. And the only thing we need to do while we're here is, you see the dragon flying around? Now, if you recall, legendary monsters that escaped were Fun Baba, who we still have to go back and defeat for sure, Doom Gaze, which we actually defeated last episode, and the eight dragons. This is one of those dragons. Now, I'd be crazy to say that I can handle this guy right now hella easily, but with my wall rings, and hopefully this is going to be not the easiest battle in the world. Okay, so what I, I'm defending quick because I want what I want to cast to make this battle completely like doable is I'm going to cast Berserk, and, ah oh, crap, let's just go ahead and chainsaw his ass, but one thing I uh, failed to do before I got to this point... You know what I forgot to do? Oh man, did I do it? I don't think I did. What I meant to do is I meant to equip... Crap, I'm gonna lose. I, I already know I'm gonna lose. Can I run away from this? Can't run away. Ah, oh, crap. Um... Well, I could still do it because I... Oh, but I have... I have Reflect on. I'm not gonna be able to do this, huh? Crap. If it reflects onto him, I'm screwed. Come on, work. Oh, sweet. Okay. Vanish doesn't reflect. Okay, well then I can still do this. So the whole point was of this battle for me was, try was trying to set up so where I could vanish on all my party members. And then, uh, so I couldn't get hit with his, and I berserked him so he'll just attack and he won't use any magic. That's my strategy here. And it's going to work now that I at least have two people alive. But I'm going to have to revive Saban and kind of set it up to where I can do this. And Mog is frozen, so I don't care too much about him. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to wait for it's say, uh, Edgar's turn to pop up. Come on, Edgar, hurry up. And I'm going to use a Phoenix down. And then I'm going to use Vanish on Saving as soon as he's up. Because I don't want this to take forever. He, this guy actually doesn't have a whole lot of HP, but it's going to take a while if I only have two people uh, whittling that damage down. I'm glad Vanish does not reflect off of, off of your characters. That would be... That would have just made me lose, and I don't think I saved it before I got here. Yeah, that was a dumb B, dumb B move on my part. 
Like, I don't think I saved between last episode and this episode. I only, like, used the internal Wii save state. Um, let's go ahead and vanish Mog as well. And then we'll be good. I don't even care that Mog, at least Mog will be alive. Oh, see, Mog, sh Mog's not frozen anymore, so we're good. Now we're good. We're safe. Safe from harm. Nobody can be hit. The Ice Dragon is safely berserked. And now we just wail away till he's dead. And watch, he's probably going to die in like one more turn. So it's not even going to matter that much. Just die, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm just going to use attacks. There's really no reason to use anything else. Not that I really have any other options with most of my characters. I mean, with Celis, I could start using magic. But I don't see a point. Just a waste of my MP, really. There you go. Victorious. One of eight dragons defeated. And I think it'll say that exact wording when I beat it. Or when it gets out of this battle. Ten magic points. Yay. Slow two and haste two. Finally learned. And we learned Mog's last dance. Yet another key to the reason why I wanted to do that right now. And seven dragons left. Yes. One of eight complete. Alright. So what did I come in here to do? I think I wanted to equip that force shield. We'll give it to... Who I want to give it to? Let's give it to... Salus. What does the force shield do anyways? Uh, it does pretty good. That's what it does. Regular defense is down a lot, but magic defense is up pretty good. Well, you know what? Then let's give that to Mog, just because I don't really see any reason to put it on anyone else right now. Um, otherwise we're just gonna use a few potions. Heal up that HP. And... That should be good. Alright. So, that's not all we came here to do, though. We came here to recruit a new party member. A secret one. One that we did not have earlier in the game. Ooh, there's a save. Okay, well, I know I used some potions, but I'm going to save it and heal real quick. Alright, so now that we got that done with, let's go ahead and head up here. And if you recall, there's actually something else here. Besides the fact that we came up here. Remember? Remember what was up here? Just remember that. It's pretty obvious, right? Well, now we can finally deal with it. Yes, the Frozen Esper. If you remember his name, it was Tree Talk or Tri Touch or however you want to say it. T R I T O C H. It's Tri Talk. Now this is almost—it almost feels like a scripted battle. It really does. And if since we have wall rings on, this is going to be a walk in the park. Now he's going to heal himself with that, I think, but that isn't going to matter because I think. Wait a second. How come we're not doing? How come I didn't do, like, any damage? Okay, well, that did pretty good damage, but... How come... I guess I have to use Aura Bolt. He's gonna keep using Ice 3 all day. So if we can do more than... Huh. I don't remember him... Whatever, he's weak to fire. Let's just, let's just negate all his craziness with fire. As long as we do more damage to him than he's trying to do to us, we'll be okay. You best be frozen. I love the wording. I should say the typo of when you get frozen. You best be frozen, son. You know, let's use the fire dance if there is one. Shit, which one of these is fire? Uh, the desert one, maybe? Let's hope that the desert one is fire. I don't know, between fire two... <sighs> Fucking frozen. Between fire two and chainsaw should be good. Um, let's see. Can Remedy... Remedy my situation here? Um, do I have Remedy? I should. Oh, it's in white magic, dumbass. Dumbass. Does Remedy heal Frozen? We'll find out. I do want to try Desert Arya again. Okay, Remedy does not heal Frozen. That is kind of a bad sign. Because I'm now I'm going to keep on healing him, and I don't want to. I guess I just have to wait till people are unfrozen. Eh, whatever. Fire damage is good. Okay, well, now I'm just stupid because that isn't just, this is not going to do anything. <sighs> this is disappointing. I did not come into this battle well prepared. It is really hard to lose this battle, especially since I have wall rings. I probably shouldn't have done the wall ring strategy. I was, I was, I had those on for other reasons, not for this battle in particular. And I just. I like having them on for most of the time. And I guess as I'm not running into random battles, I guess I could have been a little bit more prepared for the bosses. Whatever. We're whittling him away slowly but surely. 
I know he's healing a little bit at a time, but the fire 2 damage we're dealing is significant, to say the least. It really is. I know what I should be using with saving is fire dance. I hope I can remember how to do it. I'm, I Hopefully I did it right, but I'm not sure. No, don't free Celis. Damn it, now Celis is frozen. What the hell's Kitty do? What the fuck did that do? Whatever. Um, Edgar's unfrozen now, that's helpful. Bastard, quit healing yourself. Damn it, I keep fucking up on that fire dance. I gotta get it right one of these times. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I'm probably completely... I think that's it. It's the, it's the bottom half circle, right, to do fire dance? I could have sworn that's what it is, right? Hmm. Whatever, this guy's wasting his time doing rasp over here, so by all means, rasp away, buddy. Rasp away. Finally got fire dance right. Yay! And I actually did some damage with Sabin, and that's all it took to finish him off. He does have quite a bit of HP, but he doesn't do much except Ice 3. Like, that's his main move. If you can neg negate Ice 3, you're home free. Basically, easiest battle ever. And from doing that, we have defeated the Esper. You humans freed me from that prison of ice. You possess Magicite? Who are you? I sense war and destruction. Could that stupid war possibly have lasted a thousand years? I can tell you, or tell that you, want to put a stop to the madness. Let's see if you are worthy. And for this, we obtain another new Magicite. And of course, it's going to be named after the guy that we just fought, Tritok. Yay! Another new Magicite. And, for some reason, what happened? Let's, let's check that out. Let's just check out this, this opening in the cliff. And this leads us to a completely new area that we have never been before, which is full of new enemies and everything. So in that case, we're going to take the Mog Charm off of the Moogle Charm off of Mog and put Sprint Shoes back on so I can move quickly. And once we fight all the new enemies here, I'll switch back to having... Uh, the Moogle Charm on so we can do this place quickly. But um, what I want to do real quick, switch Espers with her. And actually, I think I want to give her Tritok first because you can learn Fire 3, Ice 3, and Bolt 3. All the level 3 magics are now within grasp. I know Flare is right there for the taking, but I'm going to take a, take, a, take a different path first to get myself the, uh, the level 3 spells. Anyway, so we're going to start with this middle cave right here to get ourselves the first treasure, which is an X ether. Awesome. We'll go down here and fall in a hole. That was a my bad completely. <laughs> forgot this place has holes. I was all excited to get that treasure, and I forgot there was holes. So our first new enemies are Ewoks and Poppers, or Keywalks. Fine. Guess which one is which. I'll give you 10 seconds to guess. All right, 10 seconds is a little too long. Keywalk is actually the bird. I would have guessed the Keywalks would be the little fuzzy squirrels because now it's like an Ewok, right? But no. Keywalks are birds. Fine. Just crush my dreams as, as a Star Wars fan. Just crush them. Just crush them. Pretend I don't even have dreams. Anyway, there's a total of, I think, five, six, maybe five or six new enemies here. I can't remember exactly how many. So we'll try to show them all off. If I don't get to all of them, so oh be it. But I should. We'll just have to see. Actually, there's another new enemy here, isn't there? Yes, the Ceratops. So that's the third new enemy. Basically looks like the Rhinox from earlier in the game, and the Rhinotar from earlier in the game, and something else I'm sure I'm not thinking of. Yep, just more sprite abuse. The beauty of every RPG ever. If we run out of enemy types, let's just change the sprite color. I know, it's to save on memory. I mean, that's really all it is. They're trying to save on memory. Now, is there something over here? Huh. Maybe not? Is there a secret door over here, maybe? No? Well, then fine. Alright, so let's just head up these stairs right quick. And... Alright, so don't hit this first switch. Actually, walk right by it and hit the second switch instead. The first switch will make you fall into a hole as well, but it will not be a hole that you need to fall into right now. So, it looks like we're in some sort of lair. Should we examine the bones? Hold on. 
before we examine the bones, let's heal up real quick. Make sure we're all full HP. Yep, there's a reason why we're full HP. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Let's do it. Talk to the bones. What's with this carving? Looks like bone. Something in that eye. Magicite? Let's go ahead and reach for the magicite. I'll take it. I'll take some free magicite. Hell yeah. Received Terato. Awesome. We got ourselves a new magicite for free. Or maybe not for free? The hell is this crazy earth? Oh no. It's the Yeti from earlier in the game, remember? I pointed him out a long time ago. Well, his name is Umaro. And he is friends with Mr. Moogle, Mog. This is the Sasquatch that Mog was referring to. And boy, oh boy, is he not that strong. <laughs> I wanted to try and make it seem like he was going to be difficult, but he's really not. This battle is actually quite disappointing. I think they should have made this battle, like, ridiculously difficult. Like, to, if you're going to get a, give me a special character, make me, make me have to work for that shit. Like, seriously. Now, okay, he just... Yeah, okay, that's the part you gotta be worried about right there. He just used a green cherry on himself. But when he does that, that means he's probably almost dead. So you want to go all out as quickly as possible now to finish him right now. Because if he busts out with with that attack, watch how much damage his tackle's gonna do now. Oh, he missed. Did we get lucky or what? Luckily, his accuracy didn't go up. Holy crap. That should have been a disastrous hit right there. I got lucky as hell. I should have made Mog have jump. That would have made him way more useful. It's alright. It's not going to matter here in a second. Oh, crap. Now he jumped. You asshole. Actually, I didn't even know he could jump, to be quite honest. That certainly surprised me. Back here, Umaro. What do you think you're doing up there? I was going to say, did that do 2,000 or did that do 200? Apparently, it only did 200. I was trying to see if Mog was dead there or not. Apparently, not. Now, this should be the last wave of turns, right? You're going to die now, aren't you? Good, because I know he didn't have a lot of HP, man. He just didn't want to die. He just did not want to die. Well, that was actually a disappointing battle, I know. It's really easy. But for that, we get ourselves a new character. We talk to him, and Mog will say, what's up? I'm your boss, Kubo. You're going to join us, Kubo. <laughs> And he just nods, and we get ourselves, yes, a new character. Let's check him out. All right, so he's a berserker, and he loves to punch things. He's only four years old, huh? Well, I guess in animal age, that's that's pretty old. Four years, and he's an animal? Like, I guess it's not bad. But he's an infant in human years, that's for sure. Anyways, he's born here in Narsh, born and raised. His blood type is red. <laughs> Uh, of course he loves Magicite. You already know that. He had that Magicite stuffed in the eye of that skull. He likes to play Wacky Yeti. That doesn't make any sense. And he also loves Moogle. Moogles. Yeah. He hates Caterpillars. He hates the Sun. And he hates Bigfoot, his arch nemesis. <laughs> Alright, so he's an admirer of bone carvings. He's as strong as a Giga's. A Sasquatch pal with muscle. And... He is quite the beast. So what is his name going to be? Well, we already know his name, right? Duh. Oh, I did say he was just a beast, right? Well, how much of a beast? That's how much of a beast. Umaro, that's boss, me doing you. Umaro, no slouching now. M Mog is like a strict fucking general over here. He's like, get your ass on the airship. Oh, we back for you in the airship. Yeah, exactly. Get your ass out of here, Umaro. <laughs> I can't believe I ran into that battle right when I was about to leave. And yes, you leave and you fall right back out here. To an area we've actually been to before. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get the hell out of here. I'm done here in, in Narsh, so I'll see you guys next time where we will try to recruit some more of our characters. If we can. If we dare. <laughs>
See you guys then. Peace. Umaro is a character that I never really used when I first played this game. Let me know what you guys think of him. Is he worth using?